So back um, in another series of OMG is called Chemistry and today we are going to talk about solubility. To get us started with solubility there's a couple of key words that we need to be able to define and th these are the keywords we need to be able to define and here are the definitions of the keywords okay so it might be useful um, to pause this portion of the video maybe write them down or just test yourself okay. So the first one says does not dissolve in a solvent that's something that's in Okay, I can cross that up. Have constant uh, constitutions which are not combined. That's a mixture because a mixture is a mixture of elements or compound, but they're not combined and they can be easily separated. A solid that dissolves in a liquid that is the solute. So the solute is the solid that dissolves in liquids, normally sugar or salt. Um, dissolves in a solvent. So something that will dissolve in a solvent that's soluble. Um, when the solute and the solvent are mixed together, that forms a solution. And liquid which dissolve, the solid dissolved into is the solvent. Okay, normally water, but sometimes an acid um, or ethanol, okay, or an alcohol. Okay, so there's loads of a couple of different things. Okay, you need to be able to define these words and use them quite clearly. So how do we work out the solubility of a solid in water? It doesn't always have to be water. They might use ethanol, so don't get confused if they do, um, or um, they might use an acid. Okay, so again, don't get confused. So how do we work out the solubility? First off, we have to measure out 100 centimetres cubed of water and add it to a beaker. Okay, nice little diagram there, 100 centimetres cubed and a beaker. Um, add sm small amounts of the solute until no more can dissolve. Okay, so add one spatula full, um, stir it, I would stir it, um, and then if it's all dissolved, add another spatula full, okay? Um, keep adding it until no more will dissolve, and when no more can dissolve, we say something is sat okay, saturated. Um, record the mass of the evaporating dish, so pour it into an evaporating dish and record, oh no, so record the mass of the evaporating dish, or just weigh the evaporating dish with nothing in it, okay? Um, filter the mixture so undissolved solid is left behind and the solution is in the evaporating disc. Um, remove any water by heating or evaporation. Um, weigh the evaporating disc with the solute in um, and calculate the mass of the solute that, have, that was dissolved, okay? So because you know the mass of the evaporating basin, so say that weighed five grams, then when you put it on the weighing scales with the solute in it, it weighed 7.5 grams you would then know that 2.5 grams of your solute could dissolve in water. Solubility curves, that's the other thing you have to do with solubility. Normally have to plot the curves. So every solute has a fixed solubility at room temperature. The solubility of solute changes as the temperature of water changes. Normally, um, as temperature increases, the solubility of a solute increases, okay? But some of them remain constant, whatever temperature is. Um, solubility of a substance in water at different temperatures can be displayed using a solubility curve, okay? Use the curves to see which is the most soluble. So this one is the most soluble as temperature increases. Um, where solubility increases, so some of them, you can see there's quite a large increase there. So at 50 degrees, it becomes much more soluble, okay? Um, and at what temperature makes what amount of crystals. So at 50 degrees, for this one, at 50 degrees, you can make about 38 grams. You can add about 38 grams of solute. Um, but whereas at 50 degrees for these two, they're they've got the same solubility there, you're looking at about 80 grams you can dissolve, okay? So a couple of questions to check your knowledge. Pause the video, have a go, and then we'll see how we get on. So what is a solvent? A liquid which dissolves a solid. What is soluble? A solvent which can dissolve in a solute. What is a solution when a solvent and a solute mix. What is a solute? A solid that dissolves in a liquid. 
Um, how can we work out solubility? So 100 centimeters cubed of water, adds until no more dissolves. Um, put it in, well, weigh in evaporating basin, then put it in the evaporating basin, um, evaporate off the water. And then weigh the basin again. And then you should be able to work out the mass. Um, how would you look at a graph to see which one is the most soluble? It will be the one that has the highest curve, the steepest curve. How can we increase solubility normally by increasing the temperature? Okay, doesn't always work with every solute, but most solutes will dissolve quicker as the temperature of the solvent increases.